guys, welcome back to Kenny Beauty. So, uh, I was able to get my hands on the new Huda Beauty Naughty Nude Palette. It is available online as I'm filming this today, November 1st, although this will probably go up a few days after I film it because I have to edit and everything. But anyways, I'm super excited. I think that this looks really neat. There's a couple different formulas that are new, so I'm excited to try those out with you guys and sort of do some comparisons to some of our other nude palettes and just kind of dive in and play with this palette and see what it's all about, see how the formula is because I know with my experience in the past, there's some Huda Beauty palettes that I love like 200% and then there's been some hits and misses along the way. Obviously every brand can't have like 100% hits we all know that, but I am kind of curious because there's that new formula shade that has like the balls where she said every every shade is going to be different in everybody's palette. So I'm really intrigued and curious by this palette and I think that's why I decided to pick it up. I do have, you know, her desert um, dusk. I have the rose gold. I think I have almost every single big palette except for the mercury retrograde that she's come out with which is on my list to get <laughs> i do have the big nude palettes um i have some of her minis not all of them because i find the formula like i said it's kind of hit or miss in the mini palettes some of them are really great and wonderful and then some of them are kind of like mm. so i probably ended up purchasing all of her palettes <laughs> throughout the years but then I end up you know not being happy with some of them maybe giving them to a friend or returning them depending on where I purchased them I did get this at Sephora um, which I was pleasantly surprised about because I don't know about you guys but I did not realize that this palette was going to be available uh, at Sephora launch day and in stores so that was awesome because Sephora is having their VIB sale so I was able to get 20% off how can you go wrong with that anyways so if you guys are new here thank you so much for watching make sure you subscribe to my channel tap the bell so you can be notified of all the new upcoming videos and releases and giveaways this will be a giveaway video as well I will be giving away a Huda Beauty palette um, so make sure you stay tuned to the end of this to enter the giveaway see what the rules are etc if you guys are wondering what's on my face today, I did recently uh, get the Wahala 2 Juvia's Place collection, holiday collection, so I will link that video up above. Make sure you check that out. I'm not sure which will be going up first, this one or that one, depending. So anyway, but that is what I'm wearing on my eyes. Spoiler! <laughs> and without further ado, let's get into the palette. Okay, so here she is, a very... You know, I, I kind of like this. It's very simplistic, but you've got like the dark and then the rose gold. I'm totally a rose gold fiend though. So of course I would like something like that. But I do like how like simple, but yeah, elegant it is at the same time. And I had said in one of my purchaser past videos that I wasn't sure where Huda was going with this. She was coming out with a palette I had found, found out before. I think it had like a lot of other people had known about it. And then I saw her Instagram and she was kind of talking about, you know, how um, this is going to be different than our normal palettes and how she's more confident with herself. And she did kind of like put it out there that she met in like a romantic, like relationship kind of sexual way. So I was kind of just like wondering what she meant um, and then a naughty nude it all kind of makes sense now of course uh, but if I could get this open one thing I will say is it's like that plastic packaging like her other nude palette she started doing this recently I kind of like the cardboard boxes that she used to do versus the plastic but you know that's just me okay and here she is outside of the packaging um, and this palette does retail for $67, so it is, it is not cheap, my friends. Um, there's 18 pans, and so that's around $3.72 per pan, kind of on the higher end. Just to give you guys a little bit of background on the palette, it is made in Italy, and it says, Unleash your fiercest naughty alter ego. Take your nude infatuation to new heights with this naughty 
reimagination of our best-selling new nude palette 18 delicious shades and five ultra wearable textures have been harmoniously curated to undress your eyes and empower you to be your most fierce and confident self there's eight velvety soft mattes five high shine metallics three multi-reflective marble creams one hypnotic marble cream and one never seen before gloss encapsulated bronze and berry pearls okay and then there's like a bunch of how to use you're supposed to add the slippery to your inner corner or lower lash like I you know what I don't even like to go there with the how to use the palettes because me personally I like to do it how I like to do it I like to experiment and play around and see what works and doesn't work which brushes work whether using my finger is best over a sponge or a brush all right and here are the shades again and they do look really really pretty they do I'm excited all right so now on to our swatches cannot wait okay so starting with the first row we have filthy passion shameless please me hypnotic and hard and that passion shade oh right there like you sort of mess it up the first time you go in but can you guys see how cool that is it's like it's definitely a multi-chrome and depending on how you put it on your finger you get more pink or more blue or more brown and then it kind of shifts purple so pretty mm, so pretty love that okay now on to the second row all right now for the second row we have untamed irresistible flower power rough spicy and arouse All right, now on to our third row. Okay, and now this is like that beady sort of, it's hard. Like I thought it was gonna be more, I don't even know how to describe it. It's, it looks like little balls, but then once you put your finger in it, it kind of like melts into this type of a shade. She said everybody's is different. Like mine kind of shifts copper orange. I wish it was more of a pink. That's kind of what I was hoping for. Okay, so we have Slippery, Tantric, Naughty, Provocative, Desire, and Juicy. These are just so, I don't know, nude. <laughs> Nothing is really, they're inter, it's interesting, but like, how am I supposed to use a shade? You know, like, am I supposed to... I don't know it's it's definitely interesting because you can do like a sort of rune and then I don't know we're just gonna have to play around with this more all right so now let's compare some of these shades with the other nude palettes that she's come up with see if there's anything you know similar or if there are different I definitely want to take a look at that as well for you guys okay so really quickly here are these two palettes and I did just notice that even though the outer packaging of her other nude palette this one is um plastic the actual cart in itself is cardboard whereas this is like a more heavy duty acrylic plastic sort of a thing and then if you look at them i don't really see i'm trying to think yeah i don't really see any similarities with shades except for maybe this shade right here this matte shade which is called raw and then this shade called Naughty in this palette. So let me compare those two really quickly. But the rest of the shades look pretty different. Okay, and then swatching these two, the darker one is the Naughty Nude. And then the lighter one is Raw from the regular Nude palette. And they are definitely very different. Um, let's also compare this shimmer right here. And then this shimmer desire and kinky will hmm. so this is kinky and this is desire so again they are different they're similar but they're different and now let's take a, th a look at the mini nudes just to see if there's any similar shades in those as well so this is the light nude palette in the mini and then again side by side I do think that some of the matte shades in this look similar to some of the matte shades in this palette I don't think any of the shimmers 
are the same at all. I think they're actually a completely different formula as well. Yeah, none of the shimmers in the in the mini are even compare. But I am gonna go in with let's see what shades look similar. So this is hypnotic in the naughty nude, and then this is that bottom middle shade in this palette and they are not the same but they are very similar very very similar and then here is the uh, pink shade right there in this palette and then the filthy shade in this palette and those look almost identical okay so the Filthy has more of a pink undertone, and then this shade has more of like a terra, this one right here has more of like a terracotta undertone. And then same thing, the Naughty Hypnotic is more of a tan, and then this shade is more of a peachy nude. So those are completely different. There's no dupes in those. Okay, moving on to the medium nude palettes. Let's just take a look at these side by side. Okay, I'm gonna swatch Juicy, which is this shade right here, and I'm gonna compare it to this bottom shade in the middle right there. Okay, so Juicy is this one right here. And then this is the one from the medium nude very close but juicy's definitely got a browner undertone and now i'm going to swatch this shade arouse with this shade right here the naughty nude palette the big palette the new one definitely the mattes feel a lot more butterier and smoother to me here's the mini nude palette it's a little bit more chalkier and then this one right here is the naughty nude and then this one is the medium nude palette you can see the chalkiness but those colors are very very similar i do have to say but there is a chalkiness to the mini palettes that you're not getting with this palette they're still different enough to be different shades I don't think you'd get quite the same effect on the eye. Okay, and then last but not least, I do want to compare this deep shade in the medium to the, uh, let's see, naughty shade. Yeah. To the naughty shade. Okay, and these two, I cannot actually tell the difference. The first one is the naughty, and then the second one in is the medium. These are definitely the exact same shade. So that is the Naughty shade in this palette. And then there's no shade names on these, but this darker color in the medium nude palette. So those I do believe are the same exact shade as far as color, as far as pigmentation. Even the formula is very, very similar. All right, and now let's take a look at the dark nude mini palette compared to the Naughty nude palette. Okay, now looking at these two palettes, Side by side, I do see many similarities um, just right off the cuff. We're going to go in with this deep shade and then the spicy deep shade right here out of this palette. Okay, and there's those two. The first shade is from the Dark Nude Mini. This is the spicy from the Naughty Nude. They are pretty darn close. The Naughty Nude is more of a warm undertone, whereas the mini dark nude palette is or the mini rich nude sorry i call it dark because it's the darkest one but it's called rich um is a little bit more of a brown color sort of cool undertone so a little bit different but pretty much very close very very close now i'm going in with this shade right here and i do want to compare that to the juicy shade right here Okay, and the Juicy shade is definitely much deeper, so those two are completely different. Not the same at all on those two shades. Okay, so now I'm comparing this shimmer shade right here, and then this shade right here called Shameless. And then here are these are two side by side. I do have to say Shameless is more of like a iridescent sort of silver undertone. Can you guys see that? It's more glass-like, whereas this shimmer shade is a different formula. It's more creamy, powdery, it's more orangey, definitely darker, 
and then the shameless like I said it's just a completely different formula altogether it's a very beautiful almost more glass like more pinkish more iridescent purple silver undertones so those are completely different and the formula is also completely different and then now I'm gonna compare um, this shimmer shade right here in this palette to desire in the naughty nude palettes okay and here these two are and again this is desire from the naughty nude and then this is the rich nude mini palette and they are completely different they're they're similar but different and the formula is again different this is a drier sort of more skin like finish in the naughty nude and this is a more metallic cream rich powder sheen type of formula in the rich mini nude all right so there was only one shade that i thought was a dupe so that's pretty good considering these are all nude palettes that she has come up with that's a lot of nude palettes so that's five nude palettes that huda beauty has done so far she's really all about the nudes right now all right so now let's get on to our look okay now on to our look i am gonna go in with this pink shade called filthy and i'm just using my rougher 13 and i'm just sort of dusting this all over the eye area i do have some staining on the other palette which i'm not very happy about um yeah so now i'm gonna go in with this untamed shade with my rougher number 14 and i'm just gonna sort of put that in the crease area okay so right over the untamed shade I'm going in with a little bit of a rouse just to sort of warm it up a little bit and blend out the edges of the untamed shade and I think I am gonna go in with naughty because it's such a smooth formula I'm also gonna put that in the crease area over untamed just to sort of give a little bit more depth and dimension. Yeah, that is definitely doing the trick. Now I'm going right over Arouse with the shade underneath called Juicy. And then I'm going back on top of that with Filthy. To just sort of soften everything up okay now I am gonna go in with this slippery shade you're supposed to be able to like use this sort of as a base I guess I don't know we're gonna see how this goes because I am definitely a little bit skeptical I almost don't even want to use this shade, but I'm going to anyways. It's actually really pretty. It's got some opaqueness to it. It's definitely nice and sticky, like for a base. Alright, and now I'm going to go in with this passion shade up here. Oh, I love that shade. I really don't know how it's going to come. Oh, so it's definitely more bluish, I would have to say. Well, that is interesting, you guys. That's actually really pretty. 
And now I'm going to go in the middle of my lid with this Shameless color. This shade is definitely a little bit more flakier. You may want to use this with a glitter glue if you don't want it to look like flaky or crumbly. I would definitely suggest using this shade with a glitter glue or, you know, a wet brush. But I do kind of want that topper sort of sparkliness to it, so I'm just kind of putting it on dry. That is actually really, really pretty, you guys. All right, so now for underneath of the eye. What do I want to put underneath of the eye? I don't want anything too deep. I guess we'll go in with Slippery. And then I'm going to go in with this Desire shade. And I'm just sort of... Smoking that out on the bottom area. All right, you guys, now I'm going to clean everything up, do the other side, and we will be back for our final thoughts on this palette. All right, you guys, so this is it. This is the final look. I did go in with some of my Dark Sparkle Diorific um, Dior lipstick from the Golden Knights collection. I did do a review on that holiday collection, so make sure you guys check that video out as well. And then now I'm going to go over top of that with the slippery shade. And I'm just going over top of that shade with this because I figure this is probably, you know, a good shade to put on the lips since it's got that wet sort of gloss texture. And now after applying it, you could definitely wear this alone on your lips, you guys as a lip gloss for sure i'm actually really liking this on the lips okay yeah i wasn't sure about that shade before but i am absolutely in love with this shade the slippery shade again on the lips i think that looks beautiful all right so hmm, my overall thoughts on this palette do i think that you can find these same when we're talking about the actual color, the color of these shades, do I think like the mattes for the most part you can find in other palettes? Absolutely. Do I think some of these shimmers you can find in other palettes and have I seen very similar shimmers in other palettes of hers? Yes. However, the formula in this palette is different. I will say that it is different than any other palette of hers that I've tried, even the bigger palettes. Um, and I do think like these mixed marbleized shade, Provocative and Passion, which we have all over the lid, I do think that those are so unique and so special. The formula, not so much, but like the color shift and the dimension of the colors, they're almost like multi-chromes. Uh, so I do think that that's pretty special. I was a little bit lit down with this until I put it on the lips. I think this is the perfect shade for a lip gloss, a lip, you know, sort of on the go type of a thing. I think that's really nice for that. Um, so the marble shades, could I do without like maybe this shade right here? Yeah, we don't need a marble shade in brown. We could do without that. And then same thing with the flower power shade, this other marble shade, which is like a tan sort of champagne-ish, goldish color. I feel like we could do without that. Um, but I do feel like this is a beautiful, sort of smoky, dark nude palette. If you have lighter skin tone, you may want to stick then to this palette as far as the mattes go. The mattes are lighter, um, they're a little bit more airy in this palette, whereas the mattes in this palette, the Naughty palette, they're no joke. Like, they are pigmented, they're smooth, they're, you know, they show up. The only light matte is this shade and on a fair skin tone, I do think that this would be, you know, darker on me. It was more of a, like an under the eyebrow sort of transition shade. 
Um, so if you are kind of medium to dark skin, I do think this palette's gonna work better for you than like this palette. That being said, I do feel like the formula of the shimmer shades in this palette, some of them are the same, but then some of them are very different. These are definitely new formulas in this palette, so that kind of puts it in a league of its own. Do I think you could get away with this palette instead of this palette? I do. I think, you know, again, the color story is a very, very, you know, much the same in these two palettes. You get more of the shimmers. The formula, though, in this palette is completely different. This is a much better, higher quality palette than this. This is made in Italy. This is made in China. I do think that this is completely different, but if you wanted a cheaper alternative where you're going to kind of get that same kind of smoked out, mauve -y nude, you know, sort of look, then yeah, you could get away with this palette. Um, but you're not going to get all the variety of the shimmers in this palette. And as far as, you know, the amount of mattes to shimmers, I do feel like this is very, as are all of her palettes, but I do feel like compared to like other brands, Huda Beauty always does like an amazing job of having like just the right amount of mattes, just the right amount of shimmers or glitters. You know, you have one, two, three, four, five... You have six or seven mattes in the shadow. So overall, I do really like this palette. I think the formula is beautiful. Some of the shades you could do without. Uh, do I think it's worth $67? Mm. I think it's worth the 20% off. Like if you guys are thinking about getting this palette, get it for the Sephora VIB sale. Well, it's 20% off. That is my recommendation. Or if Huda Beauty has a sale, now I will say on Huda Beauty's site, she has a Naughty Nude uh, set where it's like eye brushes and the palette for $107. I do think the brushes look beautiful. I just have enough brushes, so I decided not to do that. Plus I got this from Sephora with a 20% off, like I said to you guys earlier. Um, do I think this is one of a kind? No, I don't. I think that it is a beautiful palette. The formula is beautiful. But you're gonna get your same overall nude, dark nude, mauve. -y. I would say that this isn't even nude. This this kind of leans more mauve, -y, uh, maroon. That's what I would kind of classify this palette as. It's definitely not a nude palette in my opinion, or a neutral palette. Um, it's a smoky sort of. I would compare it to maybe like the Juvia's Place, the Mauves palette, the Berries, that sort of a vibe. However, you obviously have completely different formula and much more shade variety in this versus the Juvia's Place mini palettes. There's no comparison. I do love this palette. I think this is an amazing palette if you like this color story. If you like this color story, then the formula is definitely there. The quality of the formula is definitely there. If you want some more variety, then maybe, you know, just grab this and a different palette. What I would like to see from Huda Beauty next is, okay, we've had five nude palettes. Like enough with the nude palettes, do a colorful palette. Like I know Mercury Retrograde was sort of colorful, but that was kind of more on the pastel sort of, I, I want some brights. Like even this palette, okay, even the Naughty palette with a pop of blue, although the Passion ended up being a beautiful sort of multi-chrome, duochrome blue shade, but like a bright blue in here, uh, even like a purple, I think would have complemented this palette really, really nicely. I want to see a colorful palette from her because I do love her formula. I love most of her palettes, even the mini ones. I I really like the mini nudes, um, the emeralds obsessions ones were great as well the only ones I wasn't that keen of which were like the haze ones that she recently came out of with those the formula was a little bit off but I do feel like Huda Beauty formula wise and quality wise is definitely there it's just whether you want like again this type of a color story if you want something that's going to give you completely different types of looks then this is not the palette for you I do think she should have put some pops of color in this and that would have just made it a definite palette you need in your collection. Will I keep this? Yes, I do think it's beautiful, but again, you're only going to get a certain range of looks with this palette. 
All right, you guys. However, I know a lot of people love this kind of color story, so I wanna hear your thoughts down below. Overall, I am very pleased with this palette. I do think it's a beautiful palette. I do think it's a really nice palette to have for like fall and winter. You know, it kind of reminds me of the Melt She's in Parties palette because you've got like this lighter sort of shade, sort of like the shimmer shade in there. And then you've got all these deep mauves. And this shade is similar in color to the deep shade in the She's in Parties palettes as well. So if you didn't pick up that palette and you want something with a little bit more variety, then I would I would suggest this. I think it is a good color story for this time of year, fall, autumn, winter is around the corner. So I do think it is a beautiful palette. However, I don't foresee myself reaching for this in like the summertime. There's just not enough variety of the colors for me personally, but that is because I love colorful palettes. Again, one or two colors like a purple or a blue in here would have been perfect for me. But I will keep this. I think this is also the type of palette that for me I'm not going to be wowed by right away because I do like more colorful color stories. So I do feel like this is the type of palette that will grow on you, that will grow on me. Like I feel like I will reach for this a lot, not expecting to, but just because there's so much like there's so much you can do with it in a natural sort of way so i feel like this palette will grow on me and i will learn and i will love it over time but for right now i'm just like i want color i want color you know what i mean that's just me though somebody who likes more natural nude neutral palettes is probably gonna really enjoy this and somebody that loves mauves and berries will definitely definitely enjoy this palette all right you guys now for the giveaway there is a giveaway i will be giving away one of these naughty palettes to a lucky person the giveaways usually last a few weeks at least um so keep that in mind but to enter the giveaway leave three comments down below make sure you thumbs up this video like this video make sure you are publicly subscribed to my channel and then last but not least share this on your Instagram, Facebook, Twitter to a friend, share this video. So share three comments, like, and make sure you are publicly subscribed to my channel. And like I said, I will be picking the winner and I will be contacting you guys for your address to send you this beautiful, lovely, new, naughty Huda Beauty nude palette. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching as always. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.